Hey everybody. Keep my iPad set up here. There we go. How is everybody doing this fine Black Friday? I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody got some good bargains if you were out shopping or if you were shopping online today. Here is the tag we're going to make. I hope there's no glare because it is a metallic. So we're going to use the brushed metallic. It's see-through all the way through. We put a window on both sides this time. So I had never done this before. So I was kind of excited about it. <clears throat> did anybody go Black Friday shopping? I did not leave my house. I have my pajama pants on. I <laughs> not left my house. I have been quilting. I have not actually been quilting. I've been cutting up rag quilts. Not trimming them. I'll put a picture on my Facebook page. So, for the granddaughters. So, all right, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is adhesive sheets because I, I use them a lot and I want to make sure that you know what the adhesive sheets do and how they work, okay? They are amazing and everybody should know how they work. So this is the way they come, adhesive sheets. You get a pack of 12 of them and they are Awesome. Awesome. Um, if you don't have any, you should. So, I have one here that's cut up a little bit. Um, hey, Mary. And so, I'm going to show you how to use it. So, you up at the corner, there's, there's adhesive in here, and there's two sides. There's two backings, if you will, on here. So, you pull the one backing off. And you lay your paper down with the side that you want to be seen up. Because this side is going to stick. Okay? So we're going to use green on this next project. So I'm going to put it down this way. And I'm going to try to put it over here in the corner. Okay. So now you don't have to use the whole sheet. You can just use a little tiny piece. And now, in order to not make the die cutting machine all sticky I'm going to cut around fold that other piece of paper down over it and I'm going to trim around the edge because this right here is sticky and so if I use this piece right here and put it in the die cutting machine which I could but now everything is going to be sticky we don't want that you don't want that at all so if you use your backing and cover up this piece right here that's left over and just trim it off so that that way you have a good piece with no sticky. Okay, so there we go. And since I have this out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to die cut the joy. And then I'm going to die cut my other little thing that I need to die cut. So we can just get this out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to put the joy... The joy, joy, joy. And since it doesn't really matter, doesn't need to be straight, I'm not going to tape it down. So there's that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two pieces of um, brushed metallic cardstock and I'm going to die cut the rectangle. At least I think I am. Put the rectangle away. Well, I don't know why. I don't ever put anything away. Yet, I put the rectangle away. Okay, so it's going to go right about there. And this one, since I do want it to stay there, specifically, I'm going to tape it down. Because I really don't want it to move. Because if it moves, then I can't use it. Here's the other thing that I'm going to do. Hey, Darlene. I am going to add just, this is just regular copy paper, but I'm going to lay it over here because my 
plate is kind of scratched. It's not scratched. It's been cut on. So I'm just going to cover that so that I don't get all those indentations. I'll still get some of them on my paper. Okay. And I'm going to do this twice because we need a front and a back. See, this is the not so fun part, the tedious part of paper crafting that I usually have done before you guys, what size? This metallic paper is four and a quarter by two. And I don't know why, but it is. That's the size, <laughs> that's the size that most of my tags are. Four and a quarter by two. The two part is because that's the size that fits into the tag topper. So two inches wide, you can make them as long as you want or as short as you want, but two inches wide is what fits in the tag topper. All right, so let's do the second one of these and then we'll get to making this tag. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sometimes I forget to tell you guys the details and I apologize. Okay. Copy paper comes in handy sometimes. Let's move this out of the way. The rest of it I already have die cut. No, I don't. I don't have the joy. I don't have the little joy. Ooh, let's do that. Otherwise, i got to lift this thing up twice. Okay. This also has the adhesive on the back. The joy. Almost everything in this project has the adhesive on the back. <laughs> I want to say it's cheating, but it's not. It's just, it's just smart. It's so much easier. Okay. I'll show you all the reasons that it's easier. Get all my little pieces out here. Let's get ready to put this, put this baby together. I liked the, um, uh, there you go. I don't know, some of you might not have seen it, what we're going to make. The shaker, the see-through shaker. Look, now I have die-cut rectangles with adhesive on the back that I can use for something else. Hey, Jen. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make our windows. So I'm going to take the adhesive off. The, I already have my window sheets cut. You probably can't even see it four and a quarter by two. So we're gonna put those together. Take the adhesive off the back. And now it's sticky. Oop, there's another tiny little piece here at the top. There we go. And I'm telling you what, this adhesive is sticky. Like, it's super sticky. They did not say, oh, let's put some kind of cheap, maybe not so sticky adhesive on there. So when they're working it, it'll fall apart. No, no. That's not what we got right here. It's sticky. Okay, so there's there's one. So now there's a window. Okay. We're going to do the same thing to the other one. I don't know if you saw the adhesive sheet, but it's in three different pieces. I'll show you. See how sticky it is? It's, it's relentless. Okay, so on the adhesive sheet itself, the backing is in three different pieces, okay? Um, I, I, I'm not really sure why, but it is. So sometimes when you die cut your piece, you have to pull off the adhesive because it's split in different pieces. That's why it doesn't all come off in one felled swoop, as it were. Well, I'm glad you're learning, watching all my little steps here. Sometimes I think it's just tedious, but... I'm glad you're learning. So let's see if we can get this booger lined up. Since I made it the exact same size. I could have cut it a little smaller, but I didn't. Okay. So. Okay, here's the part. I don't want to scare you. Hey, Lee Kaiser. Um, I don't want to scare you. But because I used the... um brushed 
metallic foil and I use the window. I have to kind of hit this. Okay? Honest. I don't I don't want to scare you. Cuz if I just squeeze it, let's see if I if it works. See it doesn't cut. Okay? So I'm going to bang it. So don't be scared. It works when you bang it. And I I don't know what else to say. It just works when you bang it. So if ever your punch doesn't work when you just bang it. Oh, that one didn't even work when I banged it. There you go. It's okay. They're real tough. Uh, one of the things that actually uh, demonstrator support when I've called before about my punch not working, they said drop it on the ground. I'm like, what? 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 I said drop it on the ground. Sometimes, like from like you know outside. Don't do it on your you know tile floor that may break. But. Sometimes they just need to kind of be um, realigned, reset, and sometimes dropping them works. So, okay, whatever. Okay, the next thing we're going to use, hey, Kathy Schubert, is foam adhesive strips. I've, you've seen me use these before. But um, these are awesome. Uh, we're just going to outline this with the foam adhesive strips. You just put them on there and trim them. Now, you want them to butt up next to each other. You do not want to leave a hole because then all your bits and bobs will fall out. And that would be, you don't want that. I'm going to put this piece at the top. That little tiny piece. So that the whole thing is now an eighth of an inch thick, right? So you want that to be an eighth of an inch thick too. So I put that little, put that little piece right there at the top, right there. So butt that one right next to the other. Black Friday. Did anybody, did anybody Black Friday shop? Anybody go out there? Brave the crowds? Were there crowds? One of my friends, I said online that there was no crowds. But she was like in and out of Lowe's and Walmart in five minutes. I was like, well, that is, that's craziness. Okay. Because it's a shaker and because it's plastic, I'm going to use the embossing buddy just to get the static off. Okay. So now we're going to, I think I'm going to, I'm going to use green. So I think I'm going to use red and green in this one. How's that? Do you think I should use red and green? Well, I'm going to. Look, I just, these are all the ones I have left. That, that's all I have left of the, we'll put some of them in there too, but. I'm sad. I mean, I could order more, but. <laughs> Bought and picked up wine. Good for you, Jen. It was busy. And that's in California. That surprises me. That it was busy. Not that you picked up wine. That does not surprise me. Jen. <laughs> I bet it's delicious, too. California wineries. I don't even, I don't drink wine and it's not that I don't drink wine because I'm a prude or anything. I don't drink wine because it hurts my tummy. <laughs> so I don't drink wine. Okay. So now we're going to glue these guys together. So we're just going to take the back off the adhesive. Maybe. Carefully. Mass are required, but it was really busy. Okay. No. So I take that back. I lied. I went to the bank today. That's the only place I went. I actually went inside the bank, though. Okay, so here's our guy. We got to line this up. Because everything is the exact same size. So good luck with that. Ugh. 
Well, it's just going to have to do. It's not quite, it's not quite, because I don't think I can get it off. Let's see, can I get it off? Ooh, maybe, maybe it'll come off. Ooh, because it's a window sheet? Oh, lucky. We're in luck. I think because the window sheet's on the back, it's going to come off, and then I can line it up better. Ooh. Goodness. You stay down there. Don't y'all love it when I make mistakes? <laughs> Everything's sticky. Okay, let's get all these guys back in here. And I'll see if I can figure out a way to... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <sighs> breathe, Sandra. Breathe. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Get all these guys off of the sticky. And back into the... <laughs> yeah. I, I can show you how to fix just about anything because I've... I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Is that the way that commercial goes? I can fix a thing or two because I've made so many mistakes. Yeah, okay, so the good thing about this is we have the window sheet on the back. So it will come apart. I want to get these guys off of there so it'll stick back down because otherwise all of our, like I said, the bits and bobs are going to come out and that will not be good. Okay, that's just going to have to be close enough. Okay, now I think if I hold, if I hold this, maybe, that way I can get it lined up, at least the sides. Yeah, that way I can use, okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, let that be a lesson to you. Don't get it glued down wrong. <laughs> Take your time. Get it glued down right. Okay. Woo! There we go. So I made them a different color. I used a different color of the brush metallic. So this one would be pretty. All right. Joy. Joy, joy, joy. This is from, this is one of my favorite sets. Peace and joy. And the peace, the bright, and the joy all have three different layers that you can cut out. This is the middle layer and this is the top layer but there is a whole nother layer that you can cut out and make this as big and as bold as you'd like I didn't think it needed to be any bolder any bigger on this um this also had the has the adhesive on it so you have to get in there and get the adhesive off but I don't know that there's any other way to do this honestly if you had to glue that down with glue it would just be a mess Yes, we, we've made a lot, of, I've made a lot of cards. You've made a lot of cards with this joy. Peace and joy. All right, so I'll glue that right onto that one. This one has the adhesive on the back because you don't want to have to glue paper to the window. I, I just can't see that working at all. So the adhesive works Great. Like this whole project is put together with an adhesive sheet. The copper brush foil and the rest of your set. There you go. Right here. Brushed foil and sequins. Does it, I think I'm going to put that side on the front. I don't know that it matters. Just going to pop this on here. Kind of like that. And I'm going to take my, this is my piece that has the adhesive on it. So I'm going to stamp joy, well, I'm going to stamp to the world on here and then cut it out 
to the world. And so now I'm going to cut this out so then this will have adhesive on the back also. Because again, you're trying to glue it to the window sheet. That's not going to work out real well. I could have got that closer. But I still can. Shaker tags it is. <laughs> well, no problem, Darlene. I'm glad you're enjoying the tag. They're fun to make. And then you have, like I said, you have leftover rectangles. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I've got a couple of them now. Things stuck to me. Okay, so more adhesive sheet. Joy to the world. And then, because I've had so much fun with the snowflakes and the adhesive sheets, I have a couple snowflakes because the card, the tag is just not quite complete, is it? Right, it needs something. So put a snowflake up there. This one's still in the die. Let's get him out of here. I didn't think you needed to watch me die cut all of these things out. So, like I said, some of them were already done. That's for your benefit. I don't need you to be completely bored out of your brain watching me make stuff. Okay, so this is how I did this guy. Because, again, he's he's a sticker. He has the adhesive on the back. Thank you for sharing my video. I'm going to stick this guy down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to trim him off. And I'm going to put the rest of it at the top of the card. Okay? Hey, hey no H! Been a minute since I've seen your face. That's my friend Rhonda. She does not have an H in her name. So we call her no H. It's an affectionate term. We have her permission. Because on my team, we also have another Rhonda that has an H in her name. So there we go with that. Um, And I think... I'm going to use this. This is a new ribbon from the uh, mini catalog that will be available for demonstrators. I don't want to do it that way. I'm going to flip it over. Um, December 1st for demonstrators and January 1st for customers. Let's get this clear. Oh, that's pretty. There we go. Just trim these guys off. And there's our shaker. That was fun. In my opinion. <laughs> hey, Linda. So there's the one I had made. And there's the one we made today. So it takes stitched rectangles. And I don't know if I told you guys about the stitched rectangles. There is a ton of stitched rectangles. This isn't even all of them. It takes two magnet sheets to hold them all. So stitched rectangles and a tag topper, the scallop tag topper. Right? That we had to bang on the ground or bang hard, right? The scalloped tag topper. The peace and joy. And the snowflakes. So, um, it's cute. If you shake it up that's my sister shake it up so anyway that's my tag for today i will be back tomorrow to uh make another tag i don't know what yet but i'll come up with something for you guys i have a couple that are super 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 duper simple but i don't know sometimes i don't want to make something quite that simple <laughs> I guess I could make three or four of them. But anyway, um, that's it. That's our tag. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to shop with me, you can. I will put the link to shop and the link to join my team in the description of the video when I post it. Okay, thanks so much. It'll take a couple minutes for that, but it'll be there 
it'll be there soon, okay? Thanks so much for watching with me today. I appreciate it, and I will be back tomorrow for day number, oh my gosh, 28. We are almost in December, people. And I still need to have my air conditioner on, so. <laughs> Thanks so much. Here, I'll hold these up here so you can see them. I'll see you guys tomorrow.